now we are done seeing what scalar product of two vectors was we will now come to the next type of product so this is the second product that we'll be dealing with and this is your vector product so once again coming back to the same question i have two vectors here a bar and b bar can i multiply them i have seen one way in which i can multiply them and that was your scalar product right so scalar product were it was one of the ways in which you could find a sort of a product of these two vectors we saw that scalar product ultimately the operation called scalar product when it was performed on two vectors then what we got as an output was a scalar was a real number right so we somehow were was were trying to associate two vectors and their product to some real number that was what my scalar product was all about now we will see this next type of product and that is my vector product so when you have these two vectors what can i do can i multiply them uh the answer is obviously yes how do i find their vector product is the question so what we do is we join these two vectors first of all so we bring this b to this point and make sure that my direction and the magnitude of b uh, is the same right so that means this vector and this vector are the same thing now let the angle between these two be theta so all of this remember all of this is crucial information now we can define a product a type of product called vector product which is denoted by a bar cross b bar this is the reason why it's called cross product because we product we denoted by a cross in the middle so a bar cross b bar let me write the expression and then tell you what's actually happening here this is very similar to dot product you will take the magnitude of a we will take the magnitude of b but we will take the sine of the angle between them instead of the cos of the angle so in vector in scalar product what we did what we did was we took the cos of the angle between them here we will take the sine of the angle between them but it is not yet over there is one very crucial thing which is still remaining and that is something called n cap extremely crucial to put this so in fact i would like to highlight this here don't forget about this so a lot of times when you study scalar product, when you study vector product you just end up taking this ab sin theta and you forget about this n cap i have still not revealed what this n cap is so don't worry about that that i that i anyways will but you have to remember what you have to keep in mind is whenever you write the expression you make sure that you don't forget about this n cap now let's see what this n cap is first of all if if i have some cap that means this is a vector right so just like your i cap j cap k cap they are all cap there are some unit vector in some direction this is also a unit vector right so what i can write what are the things that that i can write about n cap just by looking at its uh, symbol so n cap i can say a few things about it it is a unit vector right so that means this entire expression that you see here this entire expression all of this is a sort of a vector right because just like 2i cap is a unit vector of magnitude 2 units along x axis similarly this thing also because all of this is a scalar right this this thing in the bracket is a scalar this is a scalar this is a scalar sin theta also is a scalar so i'm multiplying some scalar to some vector right that means i'm getting my vector as an output i'm getting a vector as an output so if you can see what is happening here is i'm taking vector 1 as my input vector 2 as another input i'm sending them through a process process called cross product so i send them to a process called cross product and what i get my as an output is another vector so this is where it gets different from scalar product in scalar product what you were getting as your output was a scalar right you took two vectors you carried them through the process called scalar product and there you got a scalar but here you are getting a vector as your output as you can see in the expression only you have some scalar which is multiplied to a unit vector right but the question is fine it is a unit vector but where is it pointing to 
what is the direction of this unit vector that is supposed to be found right that is what is the interesting thing about this n cap so what this unit vector actually is i will write here and then i show you in the diagram what it is perpendicular to both a and b so now i know some more things about this n cap i know it's a unit vector so its magnitude is 1 i know something about its direction i don't know everything but i know something that's okay it's perpendicular to both a and b now how do i construct a vector which is perpendicular to both a and b so your a is here your b is here if you look at this diagram how do i construct a vector which is perpendicular to both of these so what i do is because these are two vectors i can form a plane which contains these two so if you can see this blue plane is con con containing both these green vectors right now if i construct a vector which is perpendicular to this plane itself then it will automatically be perpendicular to b and a both right so a and b are both in this plane if i have a vector which is perpendicular to this plane that vector will obviously be perpendicular to both a and b right because it's perpendicular to the entire plane containing a and b so your n cap actually is perpendicular to both a and b or i can also write perpendicular to the plane containing a and b right now just to actually give you a briefing about what we are doing here we are studying the second type of product here where i have two vectors i can perform some operation on them some sort of a multiplication so you you are seeing this multiplication here right but this is slightly different from your scalar product multiplication because what was happening there was it was ab cos theta and here it is ab sin theta and you are also having this vector this tiny little vector which is changing everything which is changing the meaning so because you are getting your vector as an output this type of product is called vector product right and what is this n cap's direction it is it is a unit vector that is something that i can tell about this but I, but because n cap is a vector i need its magnitude as well as direction so now i'm trying to find its direction so uh, what i can tell is okay it's perpendicular to both a and b but i can also say it's perpendicular to the plane containing a and b because ultimately if it's perpendicular to the plane containing a and b it is perpendicular to a and b right but there's one more question that comes to mind whether this n cap is pointing upwards or whether it's pointing downwards both are possibilities right both can be perpendicular to the plane containing a and b so which of these two so which of this the one downwards and the one upwards which is your n cap is it pointing is, is it the one pointing upwards or is it the one pointing downwards so let me actually make some space for that uh, before i explain you the exact direction of n cap so that we are able to so once we get this n cap then we will have the entire a cross b vector available with us because we already know its magnitude we already know this scalar we know the magnitude of this but we don't know the direction of this when we get the exact direction of this we will get the exact cross product uh, like the complete information about the cross product so let me make some space and let me ex actually explain you how to actually get the exact direction of this n cap so now we had to find the direction of the n cap this is the formula in front of you a cross b is equal to ab sin theta and a is nothing but basically mod a bar right and b is also nothing but mod b bar they are the magnitudes of the vectors into sin theta into n cap n cap uh, we've already seen is a unit vector and it is perpendicular to the plane containing a and b but what you had to see whether it goes above the plane or below the plane because both if i have a plane here this also is a perpendicular to the plane and this also is a perpendicular to the plane so which of these is my n bar was the question right so to find that what we will learn is something uh, new and interesting it's called screw rule in fact to be more specific right hand screw rule in fact uh, this particular law is basically carried out in using a uh, using your right hand but in fact uh, you know to 
finally see the law you don't even need your hand so you just need to know how to use the screw properly so how does a screw help me with this that is what is to be seen let's actually look at that so in order to use this law what you're supposed to do is you need to take a screw as you can see in this diagram there is a screw so uh, if my vectors are like this a bar and b bar let me just redraw them here your a bar and this is your b bar the angle between them is obviously theta and that is the reason why the formula is this i just need to know the direction of n cap what i do is i take a screw and i place it here at the junction joining these two so remember you go to the junction joining uh, your two vectors and you place your screw there and because it's a cross b you rotate from a to b through the smallest angle so i would say rotate from a to b through the smaller angle now why am i mentioning uh, the word smaller angle here because as you can see if your a and b are like this there are two angles one is this the other is this now you are not supposed to take the other path you are supposed to take the smaller angle path and you are supposed to rotate this screw from a to b why because it's a cross b if it is b cross a you would have rotated it from b to a so if you rotate this screw from a to b then you are rotating something like this now imagine place a screw if it rotates like this will it go up or down yes it will go up because if you take a screw like this if you rotate it like this then it will rotate and it will go down right and if you uh, instead of rotating it like this if you rotate it reverse then it will go up right just imagine a screw in your hand and uh, do the rotation it will always give you the right result right that's all that the law is actually so because it's going up because the screw is going up the direction of this n cap is up so now you have all the information about the cross product what is the magnitude if i ask you what is the magnitude of a cross b it's simple right it's mod a mod b sin theta and mod of n cap is 1 so the magnitude of this is this what is the direction of a cross b a cross b is a vector right we we already seen that it is a vector product so if something is a vector product then obviously the end result is a vector that is what we saw uh, that if you give two vectors as the input and you actually uh, make it go through the process of finding the vector product the output is a vector in case of scalar product the output is a scalar so the vector that you get an output has this magnitude what should be the direction of that vector for direction you will lose this root because the direction of n cap is the direction of your vector right because this vector this a cross b vector is some some scalar which is obviously positive right because your theta can uh, the moment your angle increases from you know zero and it keeps on increasing it can increase up to 180 it can increase up to 180 the moment it comes like this then this is the angle that you will take which is less than 180 so this theta that you see here has limits up to 180 right it can be for anything between 0 and 180 anything above 180 is measured like this so always it is like this so that is the reason why the sin theta will always be positive sin theta between 0 and 180 is always positive so this quantity that you see here is always positive so it is something like a bar is being multiplied with lambda a bar now this is a vector which is in the direction of a bar because your lambda is greater than 0 so your lambda is this here your a bar is this here so this vector this new resultant vector is in the direction of n cap and this is what your vector is so the process is simple you have a vector a bar you have a vector b bar you want a cross b a cross b is an another vector right a cross b has to be a vector what is the magnitude of that vector it is ab sin theta so now you know now you know the magnitude of the vector you need its direction 
what will you do for direction you will use screw rule how will you use screw rule you will have two vectors a bar and maybe something like this b bar and then because it's a cross b you will rotate from a to b through the smaller angle this is your smaller angle this is your bigger angle you won't take the bigger angle you take the smaller angle you will put a screw here you will rotate it like this that means it will go up right so the so the direction is n cap where n cap is upwards so this was all about finding the cross cross product right uh, and uh, we uh, don't really have a geometrical significance of it as of now uh, we have it and we will discuss it like this, this cross product is actually used to find the area of triangle and in physics also it has a lot of physical significance a lot of physical quantities are calculated using that so that we will be seeing ahead let's look at a few properties of this cross product now so now you have already seen what a cross product is and what all goes on into what what all goes into actually calculating the cross product let's look at a few properties of cross product